Hi guys, I'm Ray from Bake with Ray. Welcome to the Ramadan series. I'll be uploading recipes for Ramadan for the next 30 days, but don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get a notification for every time that I post a recipe. I'm feeling this one's gonna be a popular one, strawberry trifle today, guys. Let's go. You wanna start by prepping some sponge fingers. Now, initially when I calculated the ingredients for this, I thought it would only make four, but then I realized once I was doing it that it makes six. So you need six sponge fingers. Chop each one into four pieces. Now, I only use like two slices of strawberries per trifle but you can use more if you like put those to the side and then you want to get out your lovely dessert glasses once again whichever ones you like you can make this as one single trifle as well guys if you want to put in your sponge fingers and then your strawberry pieces and then you want to go ahead and make your jelly now i use the ahmed strawberry jelly which i'll show you here and just make it according to the packet instructions i don't know if i can even call this a recipe because i'm basically just doing everything according to packet instructions but anyway 400 milliliters of boiling water and your packet of strawberry jelly in there and then give it a good mix make sure you mix it really really well so that all those crystals are dissolved properly if you don't then you're just going to be left with gritty jelly and nobody likes that and then if you're extra like me you can weigh out each amount so that that is equal in each cup it was about 90 milliliters for me for each cup but again you can just eyeball it you don't have to be extra put them on a tray and then put them in the fridge to set they usually take about half an hour or so in the fridge to set whilst your jelly is setting you can go on to preparing your custard uh, to do this you need a saucepan and in your saucepan you're going to add your custard powder and then your sugar is 35 grams of each then give them a mix together and then set them aside onto the hob don't turn the hob on just yet you're going to measure out your milk first you need one pint of milk which is equal to 568 milliliters again all this is according to the package instructions on the bird's custard powder so just use that <laughs> put a small amount of milk from the milk that you measured out into your powder mixture and give it a good whisk until you have taken out all of the lumps because if you have any lumps left at this point then you'll just get lumpy custards you want to make sure that it is mixed in really really well and there's no lumps left once all the lumps are gone you can go ahead and pour in the rest of the milk and then give it a mix again look the heat is still off at this point now once it's all mixed then you want to put the heat on on a high flame and then i switch to a spatula you want to stir it continuously at this point until it basically starts boiling once the milk is boiling the custard will begin to thicken just like as you can see here and once it is thickened to the right consistency you want it to be quite thick so you can see the consistency here and then you just turn it off so what i like to do is because custard tends to get a skin formed on the top i get a bowl of cold water and then i put the saucepan in the cold water and continuously stir the custard this will prevent the skin from forming forming on top but also will cool down the custard quicker as well so i just keep stirring it like this you don't want to cool it down completely because otherwise it'll set set you don't want it to set you just want to cool it until it comes to like room temperature pour it back into your jug by this time your jelly should be set so you can go ahead and evenly pour out your custard layer on top of your set jelly uh, remember your custard should be cooled down before you pour it on top of the jelly otherwise the jelly will melt again i weighed out each individual one it was about 90 grams of custard per pot again uh, give it a good shake so that it's kind of levels itself out and then put them all onto a tray again and back in the fridge to set the custard while the custard is setting you can go ahead and prepare your last and final layer which is the whipped cream put your cream into a large mixing bowl straight out of the fridge cold and then add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a tablespoon of uh, icing sugar which is about 15 grams then whisk on a low speed until it basically begins to hold its shape just be careful with um double cream because it is really easy to over whip it when you're piping you really just want to get it to a point where it just begins to hold its shape and not over whip it because if you over whip it you're just going to end up with split cream and nobody likes that it just tastes buttery and horrible so if you can see the consistency here it's still nice and soft but it's holding its shape then you want to prepare your piping bag i put a 1m tip in mine a large star tip pop that in your piping bag this is how it should look an easy way to fill your piping bag is to get a large glass and put your piping bag in it and then push your hand through just like that and then fill in your cream into the piping bag you don't want to do it all at once because it won't fit and it'll be too hard to pipe 
pushed it down to the end of the nozzle and then twist the bag and then pipe i just pipe mine in this kind of design but you could pipe yours with swirls however you like whatever looks pretty to you uh, basically to do this you just basically just squeeze the bag and then lift off and then i added another extra layer on top just for the strawberry pieces to rest on and that is it that is your strawberry trifle you don't have to get the individual components like me you can get that trifle kit you know the one i'm talking about the one that every desi mom has in a cupboard yeah that one use that <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up enjoy